we're putting back to the episode of last it's how to survival today we're returning today boom we got this jazz right here to go ahead and to take a peek at it what you guys are seeing is our very overhaul overlooking look at the motel released today with a little bit of a teaser at the end saying soon last day on earth so this is what happens quite often with these updates when they are in the final stretch this is usually the final teaser that we see before the update itself does come out and this is actually a beautiful teaser that we're gonna go ahead and dive into a little bit first but i just want to go ahead and let y'all know that this pretty much means that the motel should be coming within the next few days hopefully with how long this cookie's been in the oven it's gonna be coming tomorrow because i just want to dive into this puppy already but i would fully expect this thing within the next couple of days now that this final teaser for the update itself has come out and speaking of the final teaser why don't we go ahead and boom go and cop a little peek at this thing because you guys were looking at the overarching kind of like look of it but over here i have a little bit of a freeze frame that kind of goes over a couple of things that we should be able to break down so number one we can actually take away the relative size of the motel very well using this because during kind of like the little pan over the little view that was occurring what was going down is it was kind of like zooming from the right to the left and over here is kind of that perfect area where over in the upper left hand corner you guys can see the left edge of the motel and in the upper right hand corner you guys can see the right edge of the motel and we have plenty of zombies over there for scale so by the looks of it this is definitely not going to be as massive of a location as the police station or the farm from what they've actually been saying it, i think it's going to be a little bit uh, i don't think it's going to be as difficult as the farm or the police station for what we have heard so far but if we go ahead and look a peek over into that parking lot we're seeing something that I definitely cannot wait to dive into, and that is what those little explosive canisters might mean, because Kafir's definitely been teasing those puppies a little bit, so I wonder if maybe we'll be able to, I mean, my my ultimate goal is hopefully steal some, because uh, I, I, dude, I have a hunch that those, they match up very nicely with the barrels that were actually seen over in old flamethrower sketches, so potentially we'll be able to, I don't know, bring those home, pick them up, and utilize them as flamethrowers, but nonetheless, there is that one that's kind of like off on the truck so maybe we'll be able to interact with that one in some way but we do have a couple of zombies over there chilling in the uh which we call parking lot there will be a couple of zombies chilling within the motel in the badger hills motel the official name for it you guys can see the front door over there which should be the way that we are going to be getting in and going through the entirety of this motel but i just want to go over and repeat that this isn't looking like it's going to be a crazy huge location but nonetheless a new location it is and i absolutely love diving into bad boys like that because you cannot go wrong with diving into new locations it's always a, a very fun time and back to going over the overview as we are continuing this kind of pan over i want to go ahead and just kind of break down a couple more things over near the beginning we can see as goofy as it is a freaking giant billboard or something like that that may or may not have to do with uh it's kind of hard to tell but i think if like you paused it at the right time it's kind of hard to tell because it's kind of like fading in fading out into blackness or it's fading in from blackness i should say uh, i think there's like a giant bean billboard so that's gonna be kind of cool because you know me i love me some beans but i think the biggest takeaway from this is the fact that this is coming very very soon we have a final overlook over it we're seeing a lot of zombies in their finalized places over it, and there's gonna be kind of like some around the motel as well and to the left and most likely to the right of it we're seeing like trees around the motel so cannot wait to go ahead and dive into this puppy with all of your boys and girls when that time does come around but with that said with that done i cannot wait to which you guys got to say about that bad boy in that comment section down below and a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the big time down at such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that lets you win on today's video y'all go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you guys stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information so such as that which we are sharing today about those upcoming updates about what we can expect not to mention as soon as that update does come out yeah boys and girls no we are gonna be all over that bad boy doing everything and anything that we can to find what it contains doing the craziest things possible over there and just overall stretching it to the limit and making sure you guys are prepared for it. not to mention it's a great way of staying up to date with every single video y'all can go ahead and enter it on for that weekly giveaway and of course a great way to stay up to date with all the dope survival games and zombie games we are checking out on the 
channel. We got a couple of very cool ones coming up. We've been checking out Fallout 76, one of the very first people to check it out, record and upload, which has been unbelievable. Can't wait for the beta to come out uh, to come out later this month, and then the full game to come out next month. And then on top of that, seven days to we actually checked out a pretty cool uh hello raider. Oh, goodbye. I suppose I'll get into some melee combat with you. But uh, we actually checked out a pretty cool other game today that I think you guys might uh, like if you haven't given that a look quite yet. And oh my god, this guy, I think my shoes are about to break, which is kind of poopy, but yo face is about to break and get cut in half. And in case you guys are wondering, stop, why are we here? Why are we at this location? Well, the reason for that is because Copper Peak over here at the survival guide, and we can see that there are a couple of quests having to do with this area that we are calling home. We got to kill 30 zombies in any mountain area and also the uh, 52 Mike at the Limestone Spire. So we're going to be knocking those two. We're going to be trying to do a couple of quests before we go out on a revenge raid because we were raided today, which means we got to get some sweet, sweet revenge. We got two C4 chilling in our chopper that I totally forgot to bring with us. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but we'll have that in our raiding arsenal and we're going to be ready to get that sweet revenge and hopefully get some stuff back. But on the farm, there are a couple of quests waiting and we want to get all the points possible to try and max out our survival guide. So we're going to be trying to pick up a puppy and kill the Ravager. But with that said, back to what I was saying about that notification bell. We are checking out a whole ton of... Oh, man, my shoes are broken. We are checking out a whole ton of dope stuff. We checked out the new Walking Dead game today, which was actually pretty freaking cool. If you guys haven't given that one a look, would recommend that. That was going to be a pretty cool one moving forward. Seven Days to Die Alpha 17 is coming soon. That's going to be a perfect time. If any of you guys have not yet given the Seven Days to Die series a try... Alpha 17 is going to be adding so much. If you're new to the series, if you're if you're an old fan of the series, it's going to be a great time to dive into it because it's going to be the biggest update the game has ever seen. On top of it all, Fallout 76. It's just a great time for survival games, not to mention all the last day on Earth updates, all the other survival games we're playing. Let's go. I like what I see. But all the other survival games we're playing, like, for example, Jurassic Survival every once in a while. We got Grim Soul. We got Westland Survival. All that jazz. And oh, no, did that bull notice us? Okay, you didn't notice us. Just making sure. So, all in all, very, very great time to make sure that you are sticking around. And great time to go ahead and om nom nom on some carrots and make sure we are prepared in that part. And, dude, look at them stylish shoes we are rocking. But for real, can't wait to see what y'all got to say. Yo, guys' thoughts and opinions. Let you guys' thoughts on my thoughts. You guys' own original thoughts. Hey, that type of jazz on our teaser. And first, overhauling and overlooking kind of overview look of the map. And on top of it all... The fact that it is very, very close. So keep your eyes and ears peeled, boys, because we are going to... Dude, what is going on down there? That is... Oh, Nelly, there's a whole ton of zombies all clumped up together. But yeah, we are going to be all over that bad boy and trying to have as much fun as we can because I love checking out new locations. We're going to be diving into it just like these zombies are trying to dive into me. Oh, mama. We got a lot of diseased wolves trying to dive into me too. Let's go ahead and get some separation from those. Get some separation from the savage giants. Then we got to go ahead and take down on top of it all hello hello step right up step right up mr giant of the savagery there's plenty of bullets to come where you're coming and luckily for you i got quite a large supply oh ain't running out no need to worry about that what i gotta worry about is trying to pick this stuff up and find it the pulpit and oh my god i have summoned so many freaking zombies that's the one thing i hate about going through the hay bales the zombies are real and that guy over there was breakdancing or whatever he was doing we got this thing that we might try to bring over where did you come from rot yokel I think that dude went on a cross-country road trip or something before he decided to say hello to us. <gasps> oh, is that the Ravager? Or no, this is actually a little savage giant. I'm going to go ahead and let's not take him out with that. That's a recipe for disaster. Let's use a little bit of M16 over here to go ahead and slowly chip away at his health. Bring his bootay down. We could go ahead and bring the bootays down of many multiple of people since we did come arm to the teeth. And these arms are, well, I don't want to say, oh my God, he's got a gun. Okay, hold on. This is kind of good news. This means we're getting a gun back, boys. Slice and dice. Stop breaking that AK. Oh no. Oh, God dang it. That thing's kind of broken. We got better shoes though. I will definitely take the better shoes. And is that the Ravager over there? Hello, Ravager. Hi, diddly ho there, neighbor. I got plenty of guns to go ahead and mow you down. Oh, I should have brought a katana, dude. I forgot the katanas are like the perfect weapon for taking this guy out. Oh, actually, dude, machete. Oh, it's got just enough reach. If you kind of like stutter step right, you can actually get him with your machete without having to worry about him either. I'm just used to doing this with the katana because the katana is a little bit better. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not have that bull notice us. That's another thing. I'm trying to stay out of out of range of the bull. Don't want him bringing, bringing down his own hellfire because those guys can get a little bit feisty. God dang it. Oh, no, I'm naked. 
Well, that is, uh, that's why the Ravager's deadly. He can do that to you. So we got to go ahead and, uh, well, steal the clothes off one of these guys. And can you please not spit on me like that again, Mr. Ravager? I'd appreciate it. I just got to kill you for a quest. Now I got to kill you for revenge. You've turned to me almost naked. And he, oh, dude, he has like a decent amount of damage too. I probably should have been using not first aid kits to heal. He didn't do enough damage. Oh no. Ow. Not only, dude, he slows me down on top of all the damage he inflicts. He does a pretty little penny in terms of damage. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mow you down with a gun. You don't get to die by melee. I don't care if I gotta blow through an M16 to bring your booty down. All right, your booty does not deserve to be up anymore, Ravager. You gotta go. See you later. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if I want to punch him to death. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, okay. My shoes are officially broken. More dead than ever before. I'm gonna kill you with this AK that I stole from a random dude. Hope that's cool. Random dude, I now need to steal some clothes off you in addition to that. Because, uh, well, I wasn't banking on being butt naked at the end of this yet. Here we are. Okay, those are the trousers. Okay, reinforced jeans are a little bit better. We're going, uh, we're going raider style out here. We've really got to use them hand-me-downs, but I ain't complaining, man. It's, uh, it's more, it's Gucci, it's Gucci, we good. Is that better armor? Okay, better armor. A little bit better shape. Uh, ooh, a little bit more durability on that one. Uh, the hats, three armor versus that one gives us four, dude. Reinforced beanie all the way. All right, we're looking nice and raided on up. Maybe the Zambies won't notice that I'm Papa Star coming here to kill them. You know, maybe they'll be like, oh, it's the usual raiders. We'll just leave them to their pen. We won't bother them. They never bother us. And then it's wa cha 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 out of left field. Your boy's going to be ready to tumble. All right, now where is this freaking puppy at, man? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why don't we... Oh, I found a puppy. I found the puppy. Hello. Okay, as much as I want to get that farm box, listen, guys, we got to prioritize right now. Uh, I, we, we've had our armor pretty much stripped from us. We got a lot of weapons. We don't actually have a lot of weapons left, and I am trying to use these to go to the mountain areas and knock out those quests as well. And you guys do need to cut me a little bit of slack. Uh, as soon as I record this video, or as soon as I'm done, I am sprinting my booty to the library. I have homework due in two hours, but y'all gotta get some fan freaking fantasticness in the form of last down there. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I spent like six hours today working on that homework. I'm about halfway through, so uh, we kind of got to hope for the best there. But let's go ahead and begin making our way over to the limestone spires, but uh, yeah, we we uh, definitely gotta go and put some work in on that. So it's been a busy day, man, between grinding out that homework and then trying to get our hands. Luckily, we got our hands on two C4, dude. That makes me uh, kind of confident moving forward that we can acquire everything we need. Get out of your toxic spitter. Not in the mood for your shenanigans today, but hopefully acquire all the stuff we need from that raid. It's just been a super busy day, so sorry if today's video is gonna be a little bit on the shorter side. On top of it, it's just, it's, it's a crazy one, especially preparing for this upcoming weekend. Ooh, this upcoming weekend is going to be a crazy one. Hope that you guys are looking forward to it, especially anyone who might be living around that LA area. We're going out to... We're going out to LA. We're going to be bringing the setup and stuff though, so we can go ahead and record out there as well. But we're going out to LA, and whilst we are out there, we're going to be having a fan freaking fantastic time over at the LA... E uh, the ESL PUBG Mobile Regional Finals for the Star Challenge over in LA. Our team didn't qualify, but I'm still going out to go ahead and chill at the event to get invited out to go ahead and woo goodbye to your face there and uh yeah so if you guys are in the area i think i'm even like in conjunction with PUBG mobile doing like some meet and greets and stuff so it's gonna be pretty cool any of y'all over there in la i think i like tweeted out some more info on that like i've been tweeting out a lot of info on it so if you guys do oh my god God, fire and that scar is beautiful. If you guys do want to learn a little bit more about that, uh, go ahead and check out the tweet there. That might be the best way to go about it. And dude, firing the scar. Oh dear God. That is just so wonderful. What mods do we have on this thing? I don't know. It's fully modded. We can still get some way better mods, by the way. This scar is not at all in its best modded state, but it's still doing a number on all these schmucks, and that's all that matters to me. Goodbye to you, a toxic abomination, and let's see what else we got to worry about over here. We got some chests and whatnot, but I'm not looking for chests. I'm looking for my man, 52 Mike. Wherever he might be, is that? No, that's just a toxic abomination over here. Yeah, we got we to gotta try and find that fella. See what he might be up to. No, I didn't want to kill no deer. Why are you doing this? Boop. There we go. We'll take him out this way. Yeah, I don't know where good old uh, 52 Mike is. We'll get one shot off on him. One shot with that. One shot. Oh, dang it. Okay. We had to waste a little bit more of that than I would have liked. Where is 52 Mike? Dang it. This man's got to go. 
Then we only got to Machete after this. Ooh, speaking of that, though, we could actually go ahead and get some Schnicky Dicky attacks going. Let's go back to sneaking instead of sprinting. And let's try to get a couple of big hits over here on people like the Fast Spiders. See ya! What a water beer. Because the Machete's always a one slice, one kill. And the 52 mic, it did say Limestone Spires, right? Like, I'm 99% sure it said Limestone Spires. This better not be one giant bamboozle. Oh, dear God. Okay. That might be him up there. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's like one of the bigger circles on the minimap, but we got to see moving forward. And listen, the chests, I know that the chests are there. Listen, I have priorities right here. I just want to hunt down 52. Bring him to justice. And then uh, we'll bring our survival guide up to justice as well. Or up to par, I should say. With the fact that I want it completado. Goodbye to you, fast biter. What is this? Floater bloater? God dang it. This man's got to be over here, right? I don't think there's any other location that makes sense, really. Oh, no! God dang it, he got that sumo wrestle off on me. Yeah, though, we got to Oh, there we go, there we go. I think that's him. I think he comes in that little, like, double whammy where it's him and, like, yeah, it's him and a zombie officer. Well, goodbye to you. Okay, that's not a goodbye. That's barely even enough damage to do much of a number, but let's slowly say goodbye to you. Are you serious? No! No, don't do this to me, big one. No, 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 no! I don't want to deal with you. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, no. Oh, game. Don't be lagging on me now, too. Hold on. I am not letting 52 Mike escape. I am hunting this lad down. The big one doesn't keep doing more damage, right? He always does the same. I, I sure hope so, because if not, this is going to get a little bit problematic. 52. Eat VSS. Ow. Whoop. No, I didn't want to shoot the big one. God dang it. Stop eating up my VSS, big one. Okay, got to heal up. Got to heal up. Get a number on him. Ah, uh, our weapon broke. God dang it. Do I need to go and melee this man manually? I don't know if I have the meds for this. Big one. Why do you need to pop up today? You are brutal. Do you know that? You are cruel. His shield is up. God dang it. Okay, we're recuperating. I'm grabbing some guns from the inbox. And all right, guys and gals, we back in. I grabbed a fully modded shotgun rain that we're going to be utilizing along with a full stack of the med kits that we got saved on up. And is this? Uh, that's 52. That's 52. God dang it. I don't want you, big one. You ain't the 52 I'm looking for. Shotgun rain to you. Nice, nice, nice. We got a double shotgun rain off on him. I'll let him get a hit off right there. I'm going to try to do some jukey maneuvers around him. Just get a little bit of separation. Shotgun rain. God dang. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the time to do that shotgun rain goodbye to you and all your body parts 52 oh my god and we just got to kill a couple more zombies oot and a boot here oh my god dude they're doing everything they can to take us down well i'm just i'm doing everything i can to take these dudes down hold on i'm taking that phone that phone could have some valuable info on it i'm listen i know the big ones here we got to kill like three more zombies to make our dreams come true so i'm just gonna try to look for three zombies on this map i am stubborn i know the big ones here the big one doesn't count that's uh yeah He's going to take a lot of stuff to kill. Not worth it. Oh, man. I am more naked than I wanted to be. We might just need it. I, I might just meet y'all at a green zone. I'm not trying to deal with the big one. Okay. I, I'm i not seeing anyone down south. Uh, yeah. Let's... Mm, I'm going to heal up. And... Okay. He's only doing 30 damage. I'll meet you at the green zone. And okie dokie. I like this better. This is a lot friendlier. Shot going to rain to you. Shot going to rain to you. Shot going to rain. You didn't die off that machete slice to you. This counts as a mountain region, right? Let's freaking get it. The task has been completed. All that we got to do now is go on home, feed our puppies with 20 meat. And while we are at home, we're going to A, actually try to get some proper clothes on and whatnot, and B, prepare for the raid and redeem a puppy. Well, actually, no, I think our dog crate might be full, so we might need to go ahead and put that away in storage for now but with that said with that done i'm gonna go ahead and prepare a little bit for this raid then we'll go feed our puppies complete all the quests for today and get some sweet sweet revenge and copper peak in our inventory we got every single thing that we might need to go ahead and craft up the necessities but first things first lexi is coming out to play and the last of our survival guide quest for today is being a completed five out of five we are well on our way towards having that survival guide completely completed and having every single reward coming into our bella and i'm a fan of that get my bella rewards i need the alls of you just like i need the alls of these level one hatchets and level two hatchets along with the two c4 in our motorcycle for what we're about to do and that is go out on a wonderful 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 revenge raid so uh Esketa fab? Where voke, where voke, where voke? What is up, my dude? I see you. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, hello. Oh, no worries, no worries, buddy. Hopefully, you got some good stuff. 
because I'm on it all. All right, Cuervo, I have arrived. No need to roll out the red carpet because this, this ain't really a base that's gonna need red carpet. I, never mind, I, I take that back. It's not the biggest base in the world, that's for sure. Also, today's loadout for weaponry, we aren't bringing the heaviest hitting stuff in the world, but I think we ought to be able to survive just fine. Don't think that's too big of worry of mine. But the question is, where do we want to break into? Because, oh, see, uh, when it says chop, I'm pretty sure there's just like a workbench or something on the other side that we can chop through. Whenever it lets you chop through, it's never a chest, by the way. It's always a workbench. It's a quick little heads up. So we know that there's a workbench right there. Uh, and then we're going to try to follow this and see if this wall leads us to any kind of promised land. I'm not seeing much in that way. If we cop a peek through the window, not seeing much over in this area. Uh, not seeing much over in Dar. A ton of tin cans, so worst case, at least we could come home with those. It'll be kind of decent. Uh, he does have this advanced furnace over here that I think we might want to end up breaking into. That my dog is shoving his snout into. Jesus, pup. Have some decency. Don't be doing that. I don't want you having a molten snout. Unless it gives you superpowers and you become like the lava monster in dog form. The Daga Monster. The Dava. Get dog, lava. The Dova. Dova King. Dragonborn. Fusro Da. <laughs> All right. Is this where we want to break into that? Ow. Is, is this the verdict, man? I, I don't know if that's where I want to break into. I'm a little bit tempted to break into that smaller area because in the very last raid we had, we tried breaking into like the bigger, more general area, and it kind of backfired on us. We, we kind of ended up breaking into some pretty tough areas. That did not prove themselves uh, too useful. That's for sure. So I'm thinking maybe uh, we, we could try breaking through here. Ah, uh, I don't know, dude. I, I hate it because I hate having to figure out if like we're breaking into a section to base or not. You know, I don't know, man. I've been ah, uh, just like I would never even think about breaking into that section of a base before because like, you know, all intuition is like, OK, you probably want to put like your biggest, like your best stuff over like in his like in this probably this area, because then like you could actually surround it by the most walls, technically speaking, if you were to build out, whereas like kind of these skinnier areas like these random little side tracks over here. They don't really lead to much, and I I don't know. That's been my philosophy. That's kind of like, it, it's done us pretty well throughout the entirety of the game up until we kind of got a little bit unlucky. So, I, uh, I, I say we break over into the open area. I'm going to not break into... Hmm. I'm not going to break into this because there is uh, like the wood, like a workbench on the other side that I don't want to break necessarily. So we'll go ahead and toss a C4 on this corner without further ado. Bada bing, bada boom. The base has been entered. Let's freaking go. Already getting some copper and some other type of jazz and plenty of shotgun rain to be dishing out to all of these poor schmucks. And apparently we over here. Uh, uh, is anyone seeing this? Is anyone seeing this right now? Literally, right here. Right here. A couple of these, like, magical tiles are, uh... Well, it, it doesn't matter. It, like, it will freeze them in their tracks. Well, okie dokie. Easy peasy shotgun rain to dish out to you, schmucks. I could get behind that. Shotgun rain to you. Shotgun rain to you. And goodbye. And yeah, I guess a couple of these tiles are glitched and enemies will not come after us, so... I'm cool with that. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Now, see, here's the thing. We're getting, like, other, like, types of loot from here, right? Like, we got some random nails that I don't think were supposed to be there. I wonder if this was, like, old loot that we were never able to recover, you know? Because, I mean, th this past raid wasn't too crazy. Like, they didn't take anything super crazy from us, but, uh, ooh, they definitely took that. I give them th that as, like, a little bit of a sacrifice, a little bit of an offering. Um... I'm going to see if we can't re go and refill up our uh, thingy mabob in a sec. But yeah, dude, what a goofy little base that lets us do that little, like, glitch. Little shenanigans over in the middle of the floor. Let's freaking go. Electronic circuit coming our way along with a camera. Three of the red tickets. And I'm not worried about those because we have so many stacks back at home. Unless there's a sizable amount, like a full stack, I'm passing on the partial stacks for now. Goodbye to that. Hello and guten tag to you, and let's continue our chest breaking spree. Oot in here, oot in, ooh, 
football helmet boy that is awesome news because while we might have a solid amount of football helmets ourselves those aren't like that's very rare loot you cannot get a football helmet in the game anymore unless you get it from someone who got it back when it was available and i think you could only get it by purchasing packs making this a pretty rare type of raid already with some pretty dope limited edition loot i could go ahead and get behind that and of course get behind some of the shotgun rain we be dishing out maybe we'll grab some machetes but oh also can we break into this that, that's gonna require eh, I, I don't know man those windows don't lead me to see anything much too promising there and there's a lot of chests up in here so i think i know where my uh priorities are at and that is seeing what each i don't know where my dog just ran to but that is seeing let's freaking go another one oh today's gonna be a good day today oh come to papa star raid this this is a marvelous raid we got a couple of pistols to go ahead and take what else we got what else we got we got a uh, honestly we got a lot of swat armor oh another football helmet yellow listen i know swat armor is better than the football helmet but that football helmet is way more limited edition so i'm trying to capitalize on that while i can i'm gonna go put some stuff away because this is this is a revenge raid actually so we don't even need to worry about giving any fair share to raiders either and that's great news because it it looks like it's going to be a solid one i thought oh game game chill out i'm just trying to go to my i'm just trying to go to here relax a little bit bro okay this is actually beautiful we had that last little bit that we had to go ahead and fill on up so we could do that put the stack over there and definitely put away some of these valuables we have acquired uh, I, I, i'll call that the most valuable like football helmets are nice I, mm, Actually, what am I thinking? I'm grabbing... I have. I was about to say, I got a lot of football helmets at home. I have way more pistols at home. Those football helmets are coming with me. So they can go and be safe somewhere deep within the depths of our storage. And maybe some lucky lad will go ahead and be able to take it for himself. But, yeah. Uh, good stuff to be had. Pantalones especially. I might actually go and... Uh, I might even... Hmm, I was gonna say maybe I'll come back or like right before the raid's about to end and grab a couple things that like maybe we don't necessarily like so whatchamacall so we can leave with like a full quality SWAT armor although our SWAT armor isn't getting hurt either so ooh, that actually reminds me I do need the full quality helmet though ours was a little bit dinked up uh, we could always ditch some of the hatchets and stuff too let's go we got 18 of the oak planks i'm just gonna go ahead we're eating my baked beans right here right now we need all the storage we could get i don't mind leaving behind the batteries that might be a viable strategy moving forward and we should be able to break through every single one of these and not worry about the enemy uh, come, or the big one coming after us which is great news that makes our lives a little bit more stress-free we're at 76 noise but this corner is glitched that's the corner where the zombies they don't know what to do so i'm gonna continue my breaking spree here it's on a hatchet so okay good to note good to note the dog's running towards me does that mean that maybe the zombies will run as well oh yeah it does actually yes it does oh no no this is no glitch why are you no glitch shenanigans shenanigans what's going on i didn't sign up for this it was working flawlessly up until now shotgun raid well i don't mind dishing out some shotgun rain to these dudes but that is not the way that i was expecting things to be going but with all the fast dudes taken on out we can easily outrun these guys and bless them with a little bit of their own shotgun rain to go ahead and take home souvenirs for all come one come all i got plenty to distribute and you i must engage in a battle with a battle of the melee and the battle was won by yours truly and that's the good news actually with some of our things breaking that means we got room to go ahead and toss things up in there i'll probably end up ditching that machete i think that might be a power move i think we're gonna ditch these man those i got a lot of batteries back at home four batteries nothing too crazy the electric generator man as good as the electric generator is eh, i don't know like it's ah, we already have so many back at home i'm never gonna finish it and what are we really losing by leaving it behind? Well, I don't know, because I'm trying to figure out where this dang thing occurs. There we are. Like, f uh, five aluminum, I guess. But it's a sunk cost, man. We are ne we never need to build another generator in our lives. I don't need to bring that back with. What I do need to bring back with is some of those better melee weapons. Oh, we already got the katanas with us. Uh, let's go and grab that next set of SWAT armor for now. Maybe uh, some of these, this full quality machete. Or something okay i could go ahead and ditch that we could ditch that leaves us with one hatchet which should be plenty because i don't think we're gonna be doing much more hardcore heavy duty breaking 
nothing like that. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, are those pants better condition? No, we're we're doing pretty good in terms of our uh, clothing condition as well. Yeah, I think we might just need to. Uh, uh, ah, do we need meds? Yeah, we actually didn't come here with the full stack, so beautiful. We'll do that. I'll use up one of those. I'm not taking four med kits back home. Give me them pantalones back. Uh, yeah, I mean, nothing super crazy. Woo! Let's freaking go get our M16 back. That's another thing I could get behind. Yep, yeah, this was a 10 out of 10 base raid. Bless up, we broke into where we did. For one C4, the stuff we're walking out of here with, I could definitely get behind. So, a goodbye to that. And I will leave this one last slot because there's... Ah, uh, there's actually a couple things that I want to break into, if possible. Big if, though. Big if. I don't want to get too greedy on these, though, because there's definitely way better things to get greedy on. I was going to say, like, some woodworking benches and see if those drop some, like, oak. But first things first, let's see what this drops. Well, this this might put us over the limit, though. And if this does, oh, my God, we're barely not over the limit. And it didn't have anything, so uh, we might try breaking through one more chest. And then we might just dip ski on out of here. I don't know. Not not one more chest. Maybe maybe this thing, if it has something good, we hot swap it with this. I don't know. That That's the best tactic I got. I'm really not trying to draw too much heat from the big one here. We might be able to break through, like, one of these woodworking benches too very quickly. We'll get one chop on this, one chop on that. I just don't want that 100 noise threshold to be broken quite yet. Okay, beautiful. We got all three of those softened up. So we'll go ahead and uh, start with this and take things from there. Okay, nothing good, nothing good, nothing good. Big one probably coming very soon. Ooh, 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 ooh. Goodbye to you. Okay, I'm cool with leaving that. I don't care what the last one has. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. That is going in the W column, boys. Let's go ahead, make our way back home. Actually, JK, JK, airdrop, airdrop. Let's get our priorities straight here, boys. Shall we go ahead and see what this airdrop contains for us? Because we already saw what the raid contained for us. So spoiler alert absolute dopeness and that is gonna go ahead and start wrapping up for this episode of last downer survival for real cannot wait to hear what y'all gotta say regarding Ooh, i gotta go ahead and equip my uh sneaky deaky skill over here so we can do that but can't wait to hear what y'all gotta say regarding the coming motel update and given what oh i smell i smell super bad i didn't realize i smelled so bad already but given what we saw today given the teaser and given what the teasers have denoted before can't wait to see what you guys got to say about it, but I, you guys have heard what I got to say. If I had to put my money on anything, next couple of days should hopefully be comprising that update, and I'm going to be crossing my fingers this tomorrow because I want to dive in this motel already, see what it has, and show it off for the lot of you. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping up for this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Thank you guys a whole ton for tuning in. I wish y'all nothing but the best of luck in the Chopper Gas Tank and joining the Chopper Squadron, not to mention the best of luck at the giveaway of the weekly variety. Get out of here, wolf! See, I'm not wishing the wolf good luck, though. He's trying to kill me. That's kind of mean. You guys, though, good luck to you guys, for sure, for sure. So good luck to the alls of you in that weekly giveaway. Can't wait to hear them comments, being subscribed, and of course, hitting that like button. Best of luck in a chopper gas tank and joining the chopper squadron. Best of luck breeding your pup again, the true friend perk, leveling up your own perks and skills, not to mention find the very best blueprints that you can for the very best attachments and building them up for the very best guns that you got in your arsenal. Best of luck building up your base, going out of the dopest raids like that which we have experienced today getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fantastic time all throughout not to mention defeating all the bosses the game has to throw at you but it's gonna go and do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching so it's an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya